welcome back and we are moving on to the next mower here it is still in the box this time it is going to be a gas mower it's important to note that power smart also makes gas mowers and this one is particularly strong at 209 cc to give you an idea you know the 21 inch yellow mower that i normally use that i mow through anything with that one's only 159 cc and it'll mow through anything this one at 209 should be quite impressive so let's open up the box and take a look at it in the next scene okay and so here is everything that was in the box your bagger your side chute your bag of wrenches and there's a couple of bolts and a funnel and the instructions but the mower here is absolutely a beautiful mower and look at the size of the engine on that now if you're subscribed to Dan's vlog you'll know that he's already reviewed this mower twice actually the black one and the red one with the same mower and so I won't go into crazy detail on the setup because he did all that and you basically just swing the swing the handle up and put a couple of bolts in right about there where am I pointing? Right there. And you're good. But the, I think the most important thing that I need to note right here and right now, because it doesn't have oil in it, and if you happen to just put your own oil in it and drive off, you may not realize that there is an oil bottle in there. See that? It's hiding. If you saw Dan's video, he found it right at the end. But if you were to go off and mow with that in there and it got hot, side of it might melt and all the leak all the uh, oil would leak out so make sure you get your oil bottle out of there anyway let me swing the handle up and get it together and then i'll show you the features okay so as you can see i've got the handle up now and i just wanted to point out the two the two bolts that go in there one there and one there and they even give you the um wrench and I did remember to get the oil bottle out of there and I'm getting ready to put the oil in as Dan was explaining it is exactly the right amount of oil so you don't need to check the level or anything just put the whole thing in and you're set to go let me just go over the controls up here so this one right here that's your kill switch this one here you follow the cable down it's going to the carburetor where it is grounding out the spark plug when it's forward to unground the spark plug, other, you know, showing the mower that somebody's here, uh, then it will start. And the one underneath is definitely going down to the transmission. So that is your propulsion engagement. So let's push it out here. Take a closer look at it. So what we've got here is a 209cc horizontal shaft engine and that is different it's not just a regular lawnmower engine mounted on its side that would be a vertical shaft engine this is the type where the shaft comes out the side for like the old edgers or like a pressure washer that's got a separate pump and it is designed that way that is that engine type so don't think they just put an engine on its side now here is the big question that everybody has and I will mention that down in the description I'm going to link to Dan's video one of the videos that he made he opened this up to inspect this because he was doubtful and so was I and I imagine everybody is on whether or not that's going to be heavy duty enough to last with an engine this big and so what it is is a horizontal shaft coming straight out to a bevel gear going straight down to the uh, blade and who knows what else I'm, I'll flip it up on its end so we can see what it looks like under there but on his video he opened that up and uh, when you're done watching this one go check that one out and you will be assured that that is a heavy duty gear and it's not gonna break okay so let me flip it up on its side and do exactly that see underneath okay this is what you got there 
very happy to see that all that is covered. So you've got, I'm curious to see under that as well. But I won't open that up, especially for just a regular review video. But that, so this shaft is coming down into this cover and then it is probably a gear driven uh, blade and then another linkage going back to the transmission for propulsion very very interesting anyway the blade is a mulching blade and this will be the last time that it's this clean <laughs> there's the uh, you know the side shoot mulching door and then there's a look at the last time you'll see a clean uh, bagger shoot and I don't you know what I didn't see a mulching plug oh maybe it's probably in the bagger is it in there is there a mulching plug I'll have to check the instructions okay looking at the manual and you can look at this picture freeze frame it yourself tell me if you spot a separate mulching plug if you know what I'm talking about normally it rounds out the uh, the deck under there but I don't see one there's also in the other steps in the instructions there's no mention of it all they do is they show this um, this piece you can see that piece is attached there and that definitely closes the opening but what I'm saying is normally a mulch plug rounds out it's a big plug that fits in there and conforms and kind of finishes off the deck and so here we have a big inset that's gonna fill up with grass and that's just the way they do it on this one but I, um while I was doing that it's very interesting to me as a lawnmower guy just like Dan was saying I fix all my own stuff and it is just really nice that they've got not only the part schematic for the mower, but for the whole engine and uh, part numbers and everything. Awesome. So let's put this back on its wheels and I'll show you the rest of it. Okay, so here it is with the bagger on and the side chute, just so that I can show you that easily. When you flip that up, the uh, mulching door opens and uh, grass can go into the bag. And then here, be able to see that the the side chute locks under those pins there the shaft see there and so yeah there's a good example okay enough said okay so on the height adjustment it's not a single lever for all four but it is a single lever for each axle. As you can see here, yeah, when that is, there it goes, see there? And the same in the back. I'll just say same in the back and you get it. So you're gonna have to pull this uh, handle is normally, it, it ships with it down there and you just have to pull it up and put it into this ring, you know, through there and in, and you're good to go. So at this point, I will put the oil in and I'll put the gas in, and the next scene will be at the uh, yard and we'll uh, take it for a spin. Okay, here we are in the yard. We're gonna be starting with some bagging. We've got the bagger attachment on there and all set to go. And we're gonna just see what it does on all these leaves here. Now, if you're hearing some big loud clanks, just want to make sure that you know that that's not coming from the mower. That's these uh, big fruit coming off of this. Uh, this is a loquat tree, and so if you're hearing big loud clanks, it's these things. Just so you know. Anyway, so let's start it up for the first time and do some bagging.
So here's what we got. We're mulching up leaves. <laughs> I said mulching, but we were bagging. And that's what you got just from those passes there. Sucked them all up good. We got a super windy day. So that's about how it uh, bags up leaves. Let's um, bag up a little grass. So, yeah, it mows really, really nice. If you're wondering how, why I'm going so fast, it's because it only has one speed, and it really engages strong. It pulls uh, really strong. So the speed that you see me going at is just the speed. It's the only setting. So um, it mows really, really nice, really strong. Anyway, so let's uh, move on to mulching and check that out. Okay, so your basic mulching was just as effortless as the bagging was. It's doing a fantastic job. Boy, it feels like it's got so much power. I know what you're thinking. That's no challenge for it. But guess what? We got a special treat here today. Because the customer wants some plants removed. And so why not mulch them? Let's go do that. This thing just has absolute raw power. I mean raw. I'm gonna have to look at the footage, but I don't even think it's slowed down. This is really thick stuff. So 
So I imagine I just voided the warranty, but had to do it. Look at this. So we're going to call that the power test. How much power does it have? That's how much power. So let's move on into the backyard and we will demonstrate the side chute and also some thicker grass mulching. Alright, as you can see I've got the side chute on and we're getting ready to go through this little bit thicker grass here. And my expectations are it probably will kind of a bunch in a row there but maybe maybe not it's kind of just due to the nature of safe side shoots like this and uh, we'll just do this and get back to mulching Okay, so you probably noticed I had to change the uh, cutting height on that because I still had it set up high for when I mowed the plants up there. But it does not bunch up in a row. It sprays really nice and even. It disperses it really nice. It's got crazy power, guys. And the pull, the propulsion is very, very strong. So far, real impressed with this mower. So anyway, what I'll do now is I will um, go back to mulching. And uh, we'll do some big areas. Maybe there'll be a little bit of a time lapse. Oh, by the way, y'all that were saying that this uh, banana tree cluster was going to die because I trimmed it, you just don't know this yard. Nothing dies. Anyway, back to work. Rest will be all mulching.
Okay, so basically that's it. It bags, it side shoots, and it mulches like an animal. It's uh, extremely strong. Um, in a perfect world, I'd like it to have some separate drive speeds, but because um, it just has one drive speed and it's a little bit fast, but you know, if you want to get it done fast and if you're worried about it not being able to mow at that speed, don't worry about that. Whatever it is you're going to go with, it just kind of summons more power when it goes into the thick stuff and it it does it it never never bogs down it's really surprising it's a very 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 strong mower if you want a super strong mower just check in the description i'll have the links to power smart website for it and probably the amazon link as well i'm very impressed very very impressed Thanks for watching everybody and stay tuned for the next one. There is another uh, mower and uh, weed whacker coming. So stay tuned.